Hi guys, I'm going to show you a bunch of makeup that I have completely used up. I'll first start out with um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I had a ton of and I wanted to push out of my collection. Um, when I first went to Green Beauty, I like purged everything. I just wanted everything out of here that wasn't natural. Now I'm, I'm pretty strict but a little bit more lenient, not like when I first started out. Um, but still, I would not repurchase Makeup Geek eyeshadows in the future. There's just other ones that I'd rather use. Um, so, uh, to finish up the eyeshadows that I had, I did sell a few, you know, that weren't used and the one that were used and that I did enjoy and wanted to use up. I crushed them and mixed them up together to make like bronzers and blushes and some I kept as eyeshadows only um, just so I can, you know, work through them a lot quicker. So these are actually, the ones that I'm going to share with you are my all-time favorite Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows. Hold on a second. Sorry, I dropped some. Um, my all-time favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So if you are okay with using Makeup Geek eyeshadow, not there's anything wrong with it, um, but if you like Makeup Geek eyeshadows, you can kind of get a feel for what my holy grail is from uh, Makeup Geek. Uh, so this is as far as formula and... Um, the color I like warm my shadows these are my favorites uh, first one is purely naked uh, there's nothing in these pans because I've used them up uh, you can look up swatches online ton of videos on them but I'll just tell you the names and I'll put them in the description box below um, purely naked beautiful transition shade um, it was like matte with a little bit of sparkle in it to give it good blendability I love this one as a transition I did Finish it up by mixing it with other eyeshadows to use as a bronzer. Next is Creme Brulee. Love this one for the transition. Um, very warm. I also mix that for bronzer. Bitten was my all-time favorite for formula. Everything, the look, the tone of it. I love, love Bitten so, so much. I kept this one as an eyeshadow. Uh, Peach Smoothie, my favorite transition say, shade. I like this more than Beaches and Cream. Peach Smoothie is much better in my opinion, but I like super warm eyeshadows. Um, this one I kept as a transition. Then Chickadee, love this one too. It's like a orangey yellowish um, color, and I also use this as a transition to the very last drop. And Vanilla Bean, love this one as a brow bone highlight. And that's what I kept it as. And Country Girl, love it for the crease or, or an all over lid. Um, I think I use this one as a blush. Frappy, also mixed it to make as a bronzer. Love this one in the crease of the eye and it worked really well as a bronzer. So those are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Moving on to um, so foundation samples that I got from Aurora Beauty. I'll start off with 14E. Uh, I had first ordered um, 14E Aloe Nourish Foundation in the shade uh, Bamboo 03. And when I got it, it was kind of gritty um, to the touch and even on the face. Uh, so it felt like something was wrong with it. And uh, also, the color was very off. Like, to me, it was almost like straight gray. On my face, it looked straight gray. Like, my face looked like a quartz that's how gray it was I don't know why um, but it was a problem so I did contact Farah and let her know how I felt about the foundation and I felt maybe possibly because it was in a sample uh, package and not in its original airtight uh, bottle uh, maybe it had oxidized a little bit which I I'm curious to know that if I were to try it in the bottle if it wouldn't be so gray like oxidized I guess you could say and, that, and the whole skin tone issue wouldn't be a problem the bamboo 03 did say that it was for like yellow skin a yellow undertone but I I don't think so because on me it looks very very gray and kind of like uh, I guess leaned more pink pink undertone which I'm not uh, so I'll show you guys what it looked like this is the second one that she sent me so this one is not really very gritty as the first one so that was good I already have a little bit on the back of my hand you see that it has dried on this side to I think pretty much to a gray color I mean tell me if I'm wrong but that looks very gray to me 
that is the foundation right there. Um, the coverage was amazing. The finish, beautiful. Um, I really like that, but I, I don't know. Maybe until they get some more color selections, I can get this foundation. I would definitely get it in an airtight pump, see if that makes a difference. Um, so yeah, I, I told Farah about that, and then she was so sweet to just complimentary send me out um, the bamboo again, along with the shade Sand, which is 02, it's lighter. Um, zero, the Sand 02, it didn't really make a difference though, it was still like gray, the both of them on me, but it wasn't gritty this time. Because I'm in Hawaii, uh, she put a dry ice pack in the package which was so sweet to see if it would preserve it better and it did help as far as like the grittiness and the texture and it holding up well you know as it was being shipped to Hawaii um, but it was still gray on me um, I don't I don't know I, I wish that this foundation had worked out for me because like I said I love the finish and the coverage it was really really good um, but See, it's already drying down a little bit, and it's very pink undertone, very gray on the back of my hand. I have heard some girls say that this foundation was gray, so I'm not the only one that um, thinks so. I have some mascara in my nail, sorry. Um, so yeah, that is that right there. Um, the price was like 40 something dollars, which is pretty good. Um, it didn't break me out. The ingredients are amazing. And uh, one thing though, uh, when I was wearing it, because I did wear it throughout the day just to you know see how I liked it other than not liking the color. Um, and I did get like a splash of water on my face and the water was like trickling down and it like left me with no foundation wherever the water had trickled down. Please let me know if that has happened to you. Uh, if someone, if someone has experienced that with this foundation getting their face wet, and I did set it. You know, I I have my setting powder that I love, um, and that is what happened. It would it just left like in my skin. You know, was showing through. Like the foundation had split wherever the water trickled down. Uh, that was it. I didn't really like that because any other foundation that I wear. Um, if my face happens to get water on it, I don't, you know, lose any foundation. It just kind of, it, it like rolls over the foundation. The foundation stays where it is. But with the 14E, I don't know if maybe because it has aloe in it, but don't get your face wet with this foundation because, you know, you'll be very sorry about that. Um, moving on to uh, other samples that I use. This is Fit Glow Beauty Conceal Plus in the shade 2. 2 is very, very light. They have a 1, which I can't imagine how light that must be. But this is the number 2. Very yellow in undertone. Looks very nice under the eyes. I really, really like this. It's set nicely. Lasted very well throughout the day. I would definitely buy a full size of the Fit Glow. And the price isn't that bad for the concealer compared to their foundation. Um, their foundation is so expensive, which I did try also. VF4, which was a perfect match for me, good undertone, but it was very, very thick and not enough coverage, which I don't get how it was so thick, um, and I just couldn't get hardly any coverage out of the Fit Glow, um, and you could not build this up. Like, with my Moody Sisters, I don't get a lot of coverage, but I can build it up. I'm wearing it right now. I could build up the Moody Sisters and it would still look very nice and weightless and just like skin. But with the Fit Glow, oh my gosh, don't build this up, girl, because it will look so bad and so cakey. That is my experience with this one. It's the Vita Active Foundation. And the tone is good. If you have a lot to cover and you want to build up with your foundation, even like two layers, it's too much. You can feel it on your skin, doesn't feel weightless, and it's weird because the Fit Glow is meant to be like a skincare all-in-one, which is why it's so expensive, but that was not for me. But I do like their concealer. That one is good. I also tried uh, some samples from Integrity Botanicals, Well People BioCorrect Concealer in the shade Light, and I love this one. I would repurchase this one. This is so, so nice. Good coverage, weightless feel, blends very beautifully. 
I I cannot say enough good things about the Well People Bio Brainer. And the price is amazing. I think it's only like $24, which is incredible. And it's in a freaking squeeze tube. Come on. That is just perfect. Golden right there. You need to try the Well People Bio um, Correct Concealer. Next is New Evolution Camouflage Cream concealer in the shade nude which was a very good um color match for me yellow undertone and i liked it it was very lightweight uh, under the eye um it didn't last very long though it did kind of um fade away throughout the day so it's not very long lasting but it was very nice under the eye it looked pretty um it wasn't high high coverage it was i would say medium um I don't think I would repurchase it, mainly because full size isn't a compact that you have to stick your fingers in, and I'm not a fan of doing that. Although the Fit Glow, um, the Fit Glow one, the concealer that I just talked about, is also one that you have to stick your finger in. I really like that formula, um, and I'm willing to um, sacrifice just sticking my finger in the in the jar for that one. But for the New Evolution, it ain't that good that I will, you know sacrifice my germaphobic ways to stick my finger in there uh next is well people bio brightener concealer i know that this is like red but that's because i had like broken up a lipstick and put it in there um so i'm not going to open it um but that is what was in there the bio brightener powder i got this because a lot of people rave about this one they love this one um for under the eye but i don't it doesn't set well um, I don't like it that much. Um, it doesn't like make the concealer last very long. It doesn't make me look poreless or anything, but that is because I am comparing to my favorite, which is the ELF HD, which does set everything nicely and make me uh, like poreless pretty much. So uh, it's not too expensive, but compared to like Silk Naturals and stuff, you know, it's like in the 20s, I think, for the full size. Um, I won't I won't repurchase that one I'll pass um, also their realist invisible setting powder I didn't like either I do have a little bit in here if you can see what it looks like if I could show you it looks like oh, can I get it it won't show um, let me see okay hopefully you can see right there this reminds me of like powdered laundry detergent that's what the this powder and consistency reminds me of like powdered laundry detergent um it is not finely milled it is very thick and grainy i'll put it on here you see how it doesn't blend or smooth out it just kind of like rubs all over the place and stays in like it's large chunks yeah that's exactly like what um laundry detergent powder does see it's not smooth it's very grainy it's like feels like sandpaper or like sand like sand um, rubbing it on your skin I don't like this one at all obviously because of that it doesn't look nice on the skin that is very weird I've never seen a powder like that um, next is hint beauty this was their alto radiant peach blush don't have any in here I got this as a sample when I ordered my uh, hint uh, duet perfecting concealer and this is a really nice blush the alto radiant peach it does have a tiny bit of sheen but not a sheen that I don't um, like because I have pores and stuff it still looks very nice on the skin so uh, I would repurchase well not repurchase I never purchased it but I would purchase a full size of this in the future um, like this one a lot and I'm going to end here. Uh, I do have more, but I don't want this video to be super long. I'll save it for another video of makeup empties. I hope that you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.